partake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also, who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy, praise to you and praise from God our Father and the Word Jesus Christ. Kindly kneel for the prayer of the Jesus, the divine words. Sing to the Lord, the Lord of In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you were already here. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man, began man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love you, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May your love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in the word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we like Christ come face to face with our sisters and brother, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat in you. In your name we pray now, always and always. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We pray for the following intentions on this month as shown in the screen.
a blessed day to all of you brothers and sisters and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Yosisan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Monday of the 28th week of Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider today is Reverend Father Alfredo Rollon Jr., SBD Associate Priest of the Di Diocesan Shrine Jesus of the Divine Word. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. <music> trust the ways of the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, brother. We are reminded in the gospel of true repentance and, of course, our faith, our belief in our Lord Jesus Christ. And so may our gathering together be an expression of that we are here in front of God, ready to be forgiven as we begin this Mass. And of course, through that, may God allow us to become worthy receivers of this sacrament. And with this, we now call to mind our sins. We ask God's mercy and compassion. As we pray, I confess to Almighty God. And, and to, to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I, I have really seen in my thoughts, in my thoughts and in my, my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And among our many intentions, we include in our prayers for today, the, for the eternal repose of the soul of our beloved Father Rodrigo de la Rosa, SVD. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel about his son descended from David according to the flesh, but established a son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness, through resurrection from the dead 
Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Him, we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of His name among all the Gentiles. Among them, who are you also, who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known His salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all your lands, Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known His salvation. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them. Because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the man of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because as the preaching of Jonah, they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have that experience of what I termed here as Mabuti pa sila moment. It is when we are compared, or if not, we are comparing something, no, to what is supposed to be uh, much lesser than us. Well, in terms of standard, o oh, anong point ko? O oh, halimbawa, meron tayong kasabihan na mabuti pa ang anin pa ang Bato, bahay na bato, kung ang nakatira na may kwago. O, mabuti pa ika ang kubo, nakatira na may tao. Uh, you are comparing the house built with stones and bricks to house built with straw and bamboo. O kaya naman sa atin, real situation. Pag medyo may magandang nagagawa ang mga lower years natin na 
we are considered as of course in the seminary life as less experienced than we have no sabi ay mabuti pa ika ang mga first year madaling pasunurin pag nag housework e eh, housework talaga ang mga higher years ay pag housework ay nagiiispadahan muna ng mga walis kalahating oras nang nag nag kwekwentuhan mga ganito di ba and then well what i'm saying is that jesus also used this kind of uh, rhetoric this argument that he said here that you no know, the generation of jonah is far better than your generation because they repented when jonah was sent to them by god and last week we have heard about the life of jonah she was the first prophet who refused his mission o kaya nga inihagi siya sa bangka eh di ba and when the ninevites were forgiven medyo masama pa ang loob ni jonah he was not happy that the people were forgiven and yet when he was brought in the middle of the people of Nineveh they repented and Jesus was saying that we have something greater than Jonah here greater because Jesus is obedient since the beginning of his mission Jesus was loving and Jesus was happy about people's repentance as it was explained in the parable of the good shepherd the parable of the lost coin the parable of the lost sheep the parable of the prodigal son wherein at the return of all these things lost they have celebrated they made a feast out of their repentance and so with this let us ask the lord that lord make us better lord make us more faithful lord make us believers in jesus as we are being taken care tayo being taken care tayo ayan no we have shelter we have food we have education mamaya may exam pa hanggang biyernes <laughs> and so let us ask the lord to help us also to care when we are love let us also love others when we forgive or we are forgiven let us also forgive meaning that let us make ourselves better because we are followers of Jesus and i wish and i hope and i pray that eventually sasabihin din ng mga ibang tao na well mabuti pa ika ang mga seminarista mabuti pa ika ang mga taong nanonood sumusubaybay sa ating live stream because of the way that we express our faith in the one who is far better than Jonah our lord jesus christ amen we turn in prayer to god the father for the grace to change our lives and respond firmly to christ's call for repentance and with this we say lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that the hearts of all men and women may the converted to be the lord who calls the word to repentance we pray lord, lord hear our prayer that we may accept the full message of the gospel including those sayings that speak of trouble in the cross we pray Lord, hear our prayer. Like the citizens of Nineveh, who may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with humble and contrite spirit, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the elderly 
may we find security and love from those who care for them. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to continue to develop more effective and affordable vaccines for everyone who, as soon as possible, so that everyone may be protected against contracting the virus, while those who already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmissions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That the dead may, may, may we find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your son. As from all eternity you willed his resurrection, associate us with him forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May dear friends that may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name for our good, good and the good of, of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of the faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ernest, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially our dear, our beloved Father Rodrigo de la Rosa. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints have pleased you, throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace, peace, peace. be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only see the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oracio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed land. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank, thank you for, for the vaccines developed, developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end, end the pandemic in the country and the whole world. world. We, we pray, pray for our health workers, workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. And compassion. Grant and them health in mind and body, strengthen strength their, their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect, protect those, those who care, care for them. them. Grant, Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. 
May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We apply to your protection, our Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynadimitz. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us go and follow the good news. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Saint Arnold Johnson, Saint Joseph Prenadimitz, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.